Hey, what's up? It's Shannon O. Oh, ready for another crafting adventure with you brought to you by Ben Franklin Crafts out in Oconomowoc. And I'm super excited for today's project because it's all about yarn and they gave me so much of it that's really, really cool colors. It's called Malibu Girl and I kind of want to go through all the colors with you and show you what each yarn is. All right, to get you started off, let's talk about supplies. So all you really need for this project is a scissors, a stick, I found this one running today. You can even use a dowel if that's what you prefer. And then yarn, that's the main focus. So today I'm gonna to be using Malabrigo, which is sold at Ben Franklin Crafts. This is such a cool yarn. I mean, you can tell just by the way that it looks. It's 100% wool from Uruguay, family owned company, hand dyed. The one that I'm holding right now is actually called Caracol. It's a multi-colored, as you can see, greens, blues, reds, yellows, got some orange in there, and uh, it's a bulkier thread with a binding, like a thin binding thread over the top that's black. Really cool texture, definitely check this out. They've got plenty of colors at Ben Franklin Crafts as well. And then I also have this darker color, this is a Mecca, so it's a single ply, multi-layered, uh, with tons of hue, hues here. So we've got brown, red, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of tan in there as well. And then the final yarn that I'm gonna be using from the Malabrigo family is worsted. So it's red, obviously, as you can tell, they've got plenty of colors at Ben Franklin Crafts, just like the other yarns. Single ply, perfect for stitching, and uh, shows off that definition. So it's kind of like an ombre effect in there as well. The cool thing about this project is that you don't really have instructions. We're going to be doing all different things with these types of yarn and it's really up to your own personal taste. So we're going to be making a wall hanging. You can hang it up in your house, your apartment, your bedroom, your bathroom, wherever it may be. And it's all based on your design. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to braid a few strands of yarn. I'm going to take the worsted, uh, this red from the Malabrigo family, and I'm going to braid a bunch of it together. All right, so since we're using the worsted yarn for the braiding, uh, it's a little thinner, so I decided to use three pieces of yarn for each strand of my braid. And so I took the three strands, tied them at the top, and now I'm going to take my three braided strands and create a slip knot, so that way I can just put it over my dowel or my stick. So to create a slip knot, you just fold the yarn over like that, twist it, and then grab one side, and then you have that hole there. So at the end, it's all gonna turn out like this. It's all braided and that way you can just slip it over the stick. This one, we're moving on to the caracol because we have all of our worsted braids done. All right, so I'm just doing a regular knot here, making sure I get all the pieces of yarn through. Pull it tight. Okay, so now I'm taking my darker yarn, which is the Mecca of the Malabrigo family. Now, I already did this with my worsted and caracal yarn. I just created some filler pieces. So I'm gonna fold my yarn, and that way each side is gonna be about 22 inches. And I'm just gonna cut that. So when you open it up, it should be about 44 inches, but we're not gonna do that. We're just tying this on the wall hanging, like I said, as some filler. It's time to start putting the fillers in. So basically, you just take one of your single pieces of yarn and you're going to double knot it around the wall hanging. So just pick a random spot. You don't have to have a method to the madness, but if you want to, by all means, I like a little chaos. Alright, there you go. That's the wall hanging. So I decided last minute to cut it a little bit of an angle there you comb it through you can add more pieces of yarn like i said the more yarn the better this is all Malabrigo yarn from ben franklin cross check it out 100 percent wool all from uruguay hand dyed it doesn't get much better than this now i'm going to go find a place to hang this up 